Mr. Vice President, this statement is made on behalf of APTN and has been drafted in collaboration with 15 transgender and gender diverse activists from the Global South and East. We appreciate the independent experts comprehensive analysis of the various restrictions on freedom of expression, peaceful assembly and asso association of LGBTI people. The report rightfully recognizes that the instrumentalization of LGBTI people by state and non-state actors promoting anti-gender narratives and policies has resulted in severe infringements of these rights. We would like to highlight how the restrictions specifically target transgender people and impact our ability to live freely and advocate for our human rights. The mere existence of transgender people is being criminalized in many parts of the world. In Russia, a drastic law was adopted in 2023, banning legal gender recognition and medical transition. A similar ban is now discussed in Georgia in the context of protection of so-called family values and minors. In Malaysia, cross-dressing on stage was banned in 2023. In the Indonesian city of Bogor, being trans has been outlawed. These restrictions inhibit transgender people's ability to express our gender identity. This goes to the heart of the right to freedom of expression, which necessarily encompasses the right to express one's identity. We would like to ask the independent expert, how will you support the efforts to advance transgender and gender diverse people's freedom of expression, particularly freedom of gender expression? Thank you.